Welcome to the Master Wong TV. This show here again, we continue to talk a little bit about the Master Wong in the high school. Nothing really proud, really about, really people, really pop, give me a lot of problem. And in high school, when I'm finished and go to continue to wrap it on the band so you can understand what is it. In high school, when in high school, man, I don't understand this at all. We got a group of people, okay, they're fucking bunch of bully. And the worst thing of all, my brother in the higher, like in the two, um, sort of like uh, two uh, lesson, and uh, two sort of like two year older than me. So they got their own fan there, and he never fucking helped me, never do. So from day one, I always fight my own battle. And the worst thing is, all the time when I uh, in school, is you gotta see why I got my English don't talking very well or really well. It's every time I got a problem in school is I could get out early, you know, like before the bell ring or anything. I just say, teacher, oh, I got a stomach ache or something. I want to go to the toilet about half an hour early. What I do? I go home first before the all of them come out. When they come out, just see you, just start fighting. Pick me up. And of course, that's a real problem. And then one time I remember this. Every time I go to school, I have a detention at school sometime. I sit in, in the front near to the teacher all the time. And then in the back, they always start dumping at me. So what happened? I sit near the teacher so he could keep an eye on me. That's not me create problems. problem. not down there. And then what happened is I got the book. Every time the teacher have to write them how naughty you are. And you know what? If my dad find out that I'm naughty, you can get home, you get some proper cane. And that's why when he get home all the time, I always, when he get home at night time, when he finish at night time in Chinese restaurant, go home, I sleep in the bed, I sleep, I go underneath the bed and go underneath there because he can't see me then. If he can't see me, he won't be able to whip me. So I go underneath the bed. You know what? I live there in a room near my brother, with my brother. And sometimes, you know, when you're young, you go to talk, you, you, uh, you, you piss on your bed, don't you? And motherfucker, I tell you, man, it fucking sting down there. And I don't keep down there very long, man. It's thing down there. And I stay down underneath the bed because he come back and see you, give you a whip. So one time, this is the proper one. This is the one that bad news. At school, the corridor coming down. Every time we walk down that corridor there, we're waiting for the class to go in. Okay, waiting for class. And that time at school, on high school, I get in a fight all the time anyway. I do a little bit of martial art here and there and uh, learn for myself. Learn from uh, the uh, Bruce Lee TV uh, on, on, onto the film and then go home and learn, watch them and learn a little bit of stuff so I wear a little bit wear so I know a little bit of stuff, not really anything because nobody really teach me. Then what happens is all the time people piss on me and bash them up anyway. People do say a certain thing on me, I beat them up because better to be strong and no one will pick on you. And that's what I find till today, the same thing. And then what happens is Always do that, and one guy uh, in the soap like two uh, year older than us, in uh, older than us, they walk past down there. I think a fan of them or something. What happened is we walked down there on, on, on that corridor before I go to the class. I think it's a science, a science class or English class I got waiting for. And then he come in pushing me. You fucking ching. You think you're fucking good, huh? Ching. Taking a piss. And I hate that motherfucking word so much. I'm not fucking ching, yeah? I'm Vietnamese, so who cares? They don't really know any different. The skin is different. Pushing there, pushing here. I'm getting tired of it because I got enough problem with this already. What I did is wear the jumper. I pulled the jumper over his face. I want bang on his fucking face and he know. I tell you, man, I still remember till today. The blood all over the white clothes, you know, the, like you wear the white and then they got a jump on over, all over, what a blood over there. Four times down there, like sack of shit. But then I kick him a few times, beat him up, I done a fucking good job. Then what happened? Go to the headmaster room, straight away, expel. No comeback, because I got so much problem, even my supporting teacher can't even help me. Finish, kaput. When I get home, I have problem. Fucking beat up, bash up all the time. And then my dad, really, really, I don't have much to talk about or to my family, my dad very much because 
man, we get beat up all the time. He don't we get, we don't talk to them very well. So this is the problem. And then I come out from the, that 14 year old. I'm looking for the job, work in a Chinese takeaway. And then that way I start to go in and start to find a good teacher and they're teaching me martial art. And from that on, I go through a lot of shit from that on. Why till all the way till now? So if anybody want to know what more, can ask me, but I'm not gonna continue, uh, wrap it again on the next show. I'm gonna have something else to talk about. But that's why I don't uh, like people start to give me problems. Even today, I start doing things on the internet. All this all these people doing other martial Oh, you think you're fucking good, huh? You think you're this, you think you're that, huh? You... I'm getting tired of them. So tired of them that I... I leave them. I do what I want to do. I don't really care what people say. I do what I feel is right. And do I really regret it? Not really. Because without all this and learning that particular ways I have to learn, I don't make it where I am. And that is wrap up and answer your question. So that's what you are. Okay, now let's move on. A lot of time people ask about certain things. I don't, sometimes it's quite controversial, so I don't want to talk about it. And sometimes I do. Okay, let's talk, uh, let's uh, give it some more down low. This one here is from uh, YouTube. Jay Hang Lake, Lick. Jay Hang Lick from YouTube. Okay, so we put this one out there for you and then uh, on down low. So if anybody wants to ask any more question, asking me, go to themaswong.tv and I'm glad to answer your question. I try to tell you the straight story and hopefully you understand where I come from. I will see you on next show. Bye-bye.